Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to skim coat the walls of an entire bathroom in less than 30 minutes. I'll be using a 12 inch drywall taping knife, a mud pan, and some thinned down USG all purpose joint compound. What I'm doing now is just getting the thin down joint compound on the wall. I am going to come back and smooth it all out with the 12 inch drywall taping knife. But it's easier just to get it up there, try and keep the thickness consistent as you go. And once you get to a good point, this wall is going to be to the corner and I'm going to come back and smooth everything out. Let me know in the comments if you're a DIYer, a contractor, painter, handyman. Just kind of curious. Again, I'm just getting the joint compound up on the wall and I'm going to drop back and smooth it all out. All those scratches will go away. You just want to stay real careful around the corners. Those are very important to keep nice and tight. You don't want to pile up any mud anywhere around the corners. Now this joint compound's mixed a little thinner than I would mix it if I was going to be skim coating over a texture like knockdown or popcorn ceilings. I do have videos of me skim coating over those textures and orange peel texture. So I'll leave those down in the description of this video. And also the reason why I'm skim coating this new drywall is sometimes if you don't skim coat it and you've got some heavy natural light coming in from a window, you'll be able to see how the paint absorbs differently into the joint compound than the drywall paper. I don't know if you've seen that before where you walk in a room and you can see where every joint and fastener has been finished. That is because you need to skim coat if you've got a lot of natural light coming in. So that's a good tip. Again, I've got some really good videos in the description. Check those out after we're done. Push with the thumb, keeps this edge off the wall. No knife marks. So if you look closely while I'm pulling the mud, I have all the pressure on the left side of the knife lifting the right side so it doesn't leave that line like you see on the left side. See that line? There is no line when I'm lifting it up on that right side. So that's how I keep it consistent and smooth. It takes a little practice. But with these uh, tips and tricks here on YouTube, you can definitely skim coat your walls to get a great smooth finish. Hey, I wanted to give a shout out to anybody new to my channel. Um, welcome. If you're into home repairs, fine tuning, your drywall skills and texture matching skills you've come to the right place whether you're a, a DIYer contractor handyman I got some tips and tricks for you over the years I've been doing this for over two decades so uh, subscribe to my channel and also hit that little bell notification so you get alerted whenever I'm posting a new video thanks again hope you're enjoying the video as you can see this goes pretty fast I'm going to do the whole upper section of the bathroom walls and then I'm going to drop down and do the lower section. So stay tuned for that and also in the next video I'm going to be showing you how I don't have to sand before I do a touch up coat. So I only sand this one time. You just got to keep it nice and tight and consistent. Uh, nobody likes to sand.
One of the key factors in minimizing the sanding you're going to have to do after the skim coating is complete is to just keep a minimum amount of mud on your knife. Don't pile it up thick.
All right, once again, I'm applying pressure to the left side of the knife, which in turn lifts the right side up so there's no line being created, leaving that nice smooth finish. Let me know in the comment section what type of skim coating project you're working on and how you found this video. This is still drying. Here's the top section, still got the corner bead, skim coated. Gonna mix up a little more mud. I'll put a card right now for uh, how to mix a skim coat joint compound. Mixed up, I'm gonna go ahead and hit these bottom sections. There's a big vanity that's going here, so it doesn't have to be perfect down below there. So here we go. Skin coating. Put it on, pretty much take it off. Mix it up to about a yogurt consistency. I'll be using a 12 inch drywall taping knife, a mud pan, and some thin down USG all purpose joint compound. What I'm doing now is just getting the thin down joint compound on the wall. I am going to come back and smooth it all out with the 12 inch drywall taping knife. But it's easier just to get it up there, try and keep the thickness consistent as you go. And once you get to a good point, this wall is going to be to the corner and I'm going to come back and smooth everything out. Let me put it down a little for you.
I'm not putting it all the way over. I'm just keeping it concentrated so I don't put a big line on each pull. Leave me a hashtag drywall tube down in the comments if you're enjoying these videos. Again, I'm keeping the left edge lifted so it's not dragging. Pressure on the right. There's more of my most popular video links down below in the description.
All right, so we're skim coated. Give you a quick look at it. Nice and tight. Here it is after it's dried. What I'm gonna do is come back and scrape it and sand it. I've got a video coming out on all that and also how to do the touch up skim coat. So you have a nice smooth finish. I also have a video coming out on how to tape the corners with paper tape. Get a nice crisp clean corner, whether it's a wall corner or the angle up at the top where the wall meets the ceiling. I'll be putting an entire playlist together so you can just go to one spot and watch this whole video series. And if you want to step up your drywall, texturing, or painting game, be sure to hit that round icon in the middle of the screen now to keep up with all my latest videos. If you've got a friend that's a contractor or DIYer, be sure to share this video with them on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks so much for watching. There's more of my most popular video links down below in the description.